what's going on everybody we got a unit here that i installed just the air handler i didn't change the condenser we have a blown fuse and i just we're in cooling mode i just put the sharp pro tool on and we got a dead short so i'm thinking we got a bad contactor coil outside let's make our way to the condenser and see Okay, here's our condenser. It's an ICP. That's why I put in an ICP air handler. Because this unit's not old. Let's see what we got here. Could possibly still be under warranty if it's registered. But if I remember right, I don't think it is registered. I think I checked that. But the condenser still worked fine, so we didn't sell them a condenser. We did change the capacitor, I can see that. See if we got a shorted contactor coil. You guys should be able to see that. One point three eight. That'll do her. That'll short a fuse. All right, change this contactor. All right, I got a new contactor here. Get this old one off. Ooh, we got a burnt wire right here too. Look at that. You all see that? It's starting to burn. That's coming off the uh, capacitor. I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh yeah, it is burnt. Look at that. We gotta fix that.
I gotta cut those. And I gotta get a steak on. I got a new steak on to fix this. Very good, that's fixed. That goes to the capacitor. What the hell? All right, we're done. 
We got our new contactor on. We have repaired our burnt Stacon back there. You can see that yellow on yellow right there. We repaired that. Everything else looks good. So uh, now we just need to button this up, go to the attic and put a fuse in and we should be good. All right, so I stuck a new fuse in there. When I apply power, this air handler should come on and we should hear refrigerant flowing through these lines. Yep, I heard the condenser. There's the X13 blower motor. And I heard, I heard the condenser kick on and I can feel refrigerant flowing through these lines. So we're back in operation.